الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا رحمتك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May the peace, mercy, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon all of you, my brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we praise Allah and we thank Allah that once again He has given us this guidance to remember Him, to engage our heart, our tongue in His zikr and His remembrance, to send salutations upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to make the special dua and to make the praises of our one true God and to sing the kasaid of our beloved Habib Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So as you know that first Saturday of the month is a very special day for all of us because on this day, on this night, we conduct our monthly maulud function in which we recite the Quran, in which we remember Allah, we make the dua, we make the supplication, we sing the hamdu, hamd bari ta'ala and as well as the qasaid of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and this is what we are going to continue inshallah tonight inshallah ul aziz. So all my brothers and sisters, those who have joining me, joining us via this uh, broadcasting, so I welcome all of you. Jazakallah for uh, joining us and looking forward for these programmings on our son Fanan of Jama Masjid Facebook page. May Allah reward you. And may Allah accept this our very little contribution. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward us for every single minute, every single second that we're going to spend, inshallah, in the remembrance of one true God, inshallah. So, without any further delay, I would like to commence today's gathering, inshallah. And um, let us make the opening dua. Let us begin today's gathering uh, with the opening dua, inshallah. Because it is always good to begin every single thing in your life with the dua, with the supplication. Ameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa raqibatul al-muttaqeen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya ibn al-Musaleen. Allahumma anta salamu minka salam tabarak tarabbana wa ta'alaik tiyad al-jalali wa al-ikram. اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين برحمةك يا أرحم الراحمين. so إن شاء الله what we going to do we going to recite last ten chapters of the holy Quran so wherever you are in your home إن شاء الله لذيذ join with me you can join with me raise your voice and إن شاء الله let your you know home echo with the, with the verses of the Holy Quran, inshallah, with the recitation of the Holy Quran. So you are most welcome to join with me in this recitation of the Holy Quran. And afterwards, we will make the Fatiha, very special dua. And uh, if you want us to make special dua for one of your family member, or the, the, somebody who gone beyond from your family, inshallah, you are most welcome to mention their name in the comment section, inshallah. We will try to include them in our duas as, as well, inshallah. So please join with me. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لإلاف قريش إلافهم رحلة الشتاء والصيف فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت 
الذي أطعمهم من جوع وآمنهم من خوف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماعون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب ما أغنى عنه ماله وما كسب سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب في جيدها حبل من مسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين 
الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل زل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون إن رحمة الله قريب من المحسنين وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم Okay, so let us make the dua now, inshallah. Raise your hands, please. Amin, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyid al-anbiya'i wal mursaleen wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Allahumma anta al-salam wa minka al-salam tabarakta rabbana wa ta'alayta ya adha al-jalali wa al-ikram. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا هب لنا من نزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى 
اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا يا رب العالمين يا رب السماوات والأرض يا رحمن يا رحيم يا غفار يا غفور يا رزاق يا فتاح O our creator, O our cherisher We praise you, Ya Allah, we thank you for everything that you have bestowed upon all of us, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabbul Alameen, bless us with the grateful heart, Ya Allah. The heart who knows how to make the shukr in your presence, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, do not make us among those, those who are ungrateful, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabbul Samawati Wal Ard, with your given guidance we are here, Ya Allah, remembering you, praising you, reciting the Quran and embracing our hands in your presence, Ya Rabbul Alameen. My brothers and sisters, those who are watching this time, Ya Rabbul Alameen, they are raising their hands, Ya Allah, to ask and to seek your, your, your blessings, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabbul Samawati Wal Ard, Ya Allah, we ask you, Allah, the Quran that we have recited, we ask you, Allah, convey the sawab of this recitation of the Holy Quran, convey the reward of this Quran, this zikr, Ya Allah, to the soul of our beloved Habib Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, and as well as to Ahl Bayt, Ya Allah, to his blessed family, Ya Rabbul Alameen, to Khulafai Rashidin, to Ashara Mubashara, to all the companions, Ya Allah, and to all the Mu'mineen, Mu'minat, believing men and believing women, those who go on beyond, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Elevate their status in the life of the hereafter, Ya Rabbul Alameen. And we make very special dua for our late Imam Murana Mushtaqi Musulimani Rahmatullah Alayhi Ya Allah. Grant him Jannatul Firdaus as well, Ya Allah. Put the nur and the light in his grave, Ya Rabbul Alameen. And as well as late Siddiq Muhammad, late Zaid Muhammad, late Nizam Muhammad, late Taslim Muhammad, late Kosar, late Abdul Hafiz Majid, late Jennifer, Leila, Zanisha, Bakhsh, Ya Rabbul Alameen, and all the names that is in our mind, Ya Allah, in our heart, all our loved ones, those who go on beyond from our family, Ya Rabbul Alameen, grant all of them Jannatul Firdaus, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabbul Alameen, forgive their minor and major sins, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, put the nur and the light in their graves, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, make their graves garden of the paradise, Ya Allah. Make their graves spacious, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, on the day of judgment, Ya Allah, raise them, Ya Allah, all these names that I have mentioned, Ya Allah, and all my brothers and sisters, those who always request to make the dua for their loved ones, those who go on beyond, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, all of them, Ya Allah, raise them on the day of judgment, Ya Allah, with your prophets, Ya Allah, with your salihin servant, Ya Rabbul Alameen, with your pious and the righteous servants, Ya Rabbul Alameen, with the shuhada, with the martyrs, Ya Allah, with the Siddiqeen, with your truthful servants, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Raise all of them with them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, bless them with the blessed intercession of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allow them to drink from the Hose Kosar, Ya Allah. From the fountain that you gifted to your beloved Habib Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Allah. Ya Rabbul Samawati Wal Ard, Ya Allah. In this very special gathering, Ya Allah. This evening, Ya Rabbul Alameen. We asking your forgiveness, Ya Allah. We asking your maghfirah, Ya Rabbul Alameen. We calling you by your name, Ghafar and Ghafoor, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. You are oft forgiving and the most merciful, Ya Rabbul Samawati Wa We ask you, Ya Allah, please, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, forgive our sins, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah, forgive our minor and major sins, Ya Rabbul Samawati Wa Sins that we committed with our tongue, Ya Allah, or with our eyes, with our ears, Ya Rabbul Alameen, with our hands, Ya Allah, with our legs, Ya Rabbul Alameen, you know, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we were, Ya Rabbul Alameen, misled and misguided by the shaitan, Ya Allah, by the devil, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. But now we're turning towards you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. And we know that those who turn towards you, Ya Rabbul Alameen, you really love him, Ya Allah. You really love those servants, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Because you, you yourself said in the Holy Quran, in Allah, you hibbu tawwabeen. Indeed, Allah loves those who who constantly ask his forgiveness, Ya Allah. So we asking your forgiveness. We don't know how to beg in your presence. We don't know how to seek your forgiveness, Ya Allah. But we, whatever we are presenting in front of you, Ya Allah, whatever we are asking, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen, please, Ya Allah, have mercy upon all of us, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Do not punish us for our sins, Ya Rabbul Alameen, in this dunya and as well as in the life of the hereafter, Ya Allah. Rather, forgive us, Ya Allah. Forgive us, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us among the dwellers of the paradise, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Make us among the residents of the paradise, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. 
Ya Rabbul Alameen, safeguard us and protect us against the hellfire, Ya Allah, against the Jahannam, against your wrath, Ya Rabbul Alameen, against your displeasure, Ya Rabbul Alameen, and your, dis your disobedience, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Make us among those servants, Ya Rabbul Alameen, those who live their life in your obedience, Ya Allah, following your commands and your instructions, Ya Rabbul Samawati Wallah. Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, remove our sicknesses, our diseases, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Whoever among us, Ya Allah, those brothers and those who are watching this time, Ya Allah, if one of them or any one of them, Ya Allah, having any, any minor sickness or major sickness, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, you are the only one who can heal us, Ya Allah. You are the only one who can cure them, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Ya Rabbul Samawati Wallah, Ya Allah, doctor can say things, Ya Rabbul Alameen, but we're not losing our hopes from you, Ya Allah. We believe in you, Ya Allah, because you are the Shafi al Imrad, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, you can does everything, Ya Rabbul Alameen. You can do anything and everything, Ya Allah. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir, Ya Allah. You, are, you have the authority over every single thing, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabbul Samawati wal Ard, heal all of us, Ya Allah. Cure all of us, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Grant us shifa, Ya Allah. Shifa kamila and ajila, Ya Rabbul Alameen. The perfect shifa, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya complete shifa, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah, especially Ya Allah, heal our spiritual heart, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Heal our hearts, Ya Allah. Remove the sicknesses and the diseases from our heart, Ya Allah. The sicknesses of the backbiting and the jealousy and the hatred, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Please, Ya Allah, remove all of this, Ya Allah. Make our tongues pure, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Tayyib, Ya Allah. Beautiful, Ya Allah. Make our hearts pure, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Beautiful heart, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, let... Our mind think those things which are beneficial, Ya Rabbul Alameen, which are pure, Ya Allah, which are nice, Ya Allah, which are good, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, help us to live our, li our entire life, Ya Allah, by obeying you, Ya Allah, by pleasing you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. And Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah, among us whoever is suffering from any kind of difficulties, having any difficulties, trials, whatever the sadness that they have in their life, Ya Rabbul Alameen, you know their sufferings, Ya Allah, you know our situations, our problems, Ya Allah. You are closer to us than our jugular vein, Ya Rabbul Alameen. So you know our situation better than anybody else, Ya Allah. So only, Ya Allah, we are only presenting our, our sorrows, Ya Allah, our difficulties, Ya Allah, our heart, our request in your presence. Because we, we believe, Ya Kanabudu, Ya Kanasta. In you alone we worship and you alone we seek for help, Ya Allah. So please, Ya Rabbul Alameen, remove our, our difficulties, our financial difficulties, our family difficulties. Our, 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 our health issues, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Allah, please, Ya Allah, grant us comfort and ease in this dunya and most importantly in the life of the hereafter. Ya Rabbul Samawati wal Ard, make our children coolness of our eyes and the comfort of our heart, Ya Rabbul Samawati wal Ard. All my brothers and sisters, those who make the effort every, you know, for these broadcasting, for these live streaming, Ya Rabbul Alameen, whatever the efforts that they make, Ya Rabbul Alameen, bless their efforts, Ya Allah. Ya Rabbul Alameen, reward them for every single second that they spend in, for, in this gathering, Ya Rabbul Alameen, by listening and watching these live streaming, Ya Rabbul Alameen. We are making this little effort, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Please, Ya Allah, accept our all efforts and services that we render for your sake, for your pleasure, Ya Rabbul Samawati Wal Ard. Make the dua in your heart. Ya Allah, grant all of us long life with iman, with faith, with good action, with good deeds, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Protect us from any harm of this dunya and as well as the harm of the hereafter, Ya Allah. Protect us from different accidents, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Protect us from backbiting and slandering, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, bless us with the, with the honor, with the respect, with the izza, Ya Rabbul Alameen, in this world and as well as in the life of the hereafter. Conceal our faults, Ya Rabbul Alameen, our sins, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Forgive our sins, our faults, our shortcomings, Ya Rabbul Alameen. حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل ونعم المولى ونعم النصير ونفوض أمرنا إلى الله إن الله بصير بالعباد وتعز من تشاء وتذل من تشاء بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم 
بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم لا اله الا انت سبحانك انا كنا من الظالمين اسبت بردواس فد سيك بلبد حبيب محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد مبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين اوكي الحمد لله سو ذس واز اور دعا ان وي هوب اند پرے ان شاء الله الله ويل ريسپونڈ اور دعاز اند ان شاء الله وي اسك الله تو کیپ گائیڈنگ اس تو کیپ سپلیکیٹنگ ان ہز پریزنس بیکاز دعا از ویری امپورٹنٹ دعا از دا ایسنس اف دا ورشپ اند دعا از سم تھنگ وچ از ویری کلوزر ٹو اللہ سبحانه وتعالى سو اند ٹوڈے ایز یو نو دیٹ وی ہیو ریسیوڈ ون اف دا بیسٹ نیوز وچ کین ریلی comfort which can comfort our hearts our mind and that is a news that inshallah alhamdulillah through the guidance of allah through the help and assistance of allah soon once again inshallah we will be you know congregating in our masajid in the house of allah subhanahu wa taala and inshallah from next friday as you are familiar with the announcement aware of the announcement inshallah from next friday inshallah as this friday coming we will be able to offer our salatul uh, salatul jumuah in the masjid inshallah following the guidelines which have the uh, you know min- uh, ministry of health inshallah so we ask allah subhanahu wa taala and we praise allah for this and we thank allah that once again he has giving giving us this guidance inshallah aziz so i'm not going to take your much time inshallah because today tonight is a night of qasaid and singing the praises of nabi uh, nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the praises of allah subhanahu wa taala so inshallah we have our president abdul wahid majid and our brother imran khan chairman of our dawa committee mashallah so without any further delay i will pass the mic to haji abdul wahid majid uh, to sing the hamd hamd bari taala inshallah jazakallah أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كوي تو هي جو نظام هستي كوي تو هي جو نظام هستي چلا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے دکھائی بھی جو نہ دے نظر بھی جو آ رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی نظر بھی رکھے سماتے بھی وہ جان دیتا ہے نیت بھی جو کھانا لا شور میں جگ مگا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی کسی کو سوچو نے کب سراہا 
وہی ہوا جو خدا نے چاہا جو اختیار بشر پہ پہر بتھا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی کسی کو تا جو وقار بخش کسی کو ذلت کے ہار بخش جو سب کے ہاتھوں پہ مہر خدرت لگا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی تلاش اس کو نہ کر بتوں میں وہ ہے بدل تھی خوئی روتوں میں تلاش اس کو نہ کر بتوں میں وہ ہے بدل تھی خوئی روتوں میں جو دن کو رات اور رات کو دن بنا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی چلا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے دکھائی بھی جو نہ دے نظر بھی جو آ رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے سلم یا قوم بل صلو علی صدر العمین مصطفیٰ ما جا اللہ رحمت للعالمین صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ما شاء اللہ الحمدللہ جزاک اللہ عجی صاحب فور سنگنگ سوچا بیوٹیفل حمد باری تعالی We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you with his blessings and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fulfill all your desires and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this rendition inshallah al-aziz. So now brother Imran Khan is going to sing the qasida inshallah. One or two qasidas is up to him. Alhamdulillah Allah has blessed him with a beautiful voice as well. So over to brother Imran Khan. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair, Mawlana Sahib. My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Salli ala nabina 
salli ala muhammadin salli ala shafina salli ala muhammadin at this kasida says as a muslim i have learned that love for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sweeter than love for wealth and fame now i am possessed with an illness with no physician can cure and i no longer crave for life's conveniences due to this i prefer to die in medina above everything else and i pray that i will never be separate from medina and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam दूर कर दे जो दीन और ईमान से दूर कर दे जो दीन और ईमान से ऐसी शान ऐसी अजमत नहीं चाहिए मिल गई है नबी की गुलामी मुझे अब जमाने की दौलत नहीं चाहिए दूर कर दे जो दीन और ईमान से ऐसी शान ऐसी अजमत नहीं चाहिए मिल गई है नबी की गुलामी मुझे अब जमाने की दौलत नहीं चाहिए ए मेरे चार घर में वो बीमार हूँ के मुझे खजूती मुसरत नहीं चाहिए ए मेरे चार घर में वो बीमार हूँ के मुझे खजूती मुसरत नहीं चाहिए मेरे दिल में है इश्क की मेरे दिल में है इश्क की मोहम्मद का गम मुझे खो दुनिया की राहत नहीं चाहिए दूर कर दे जो दीन और ईमान से ऐसी शान ऐसी अजमत नहीं चाहिए ए मदीना इधर भाग जन्नत उधर और फिर कोई पूछे मेरा फैसला हे मदीना इधर भाग जन्नत उधर और फिर कोई पूछे मेरा फैसला हे मदीने से ऐसी अकीदत मुझे हे मदीने से ऐसी अकीदत मुझे साफ कह दूंगा जन्नत नहीं चाहिए दूर कर दे जो दीन और ईमान से ऐसी शान ऐसी अजमत नहीं चाहिए मिल गई है नबी की गुलामी मुझे अब जमाने की दौलत नहीं चाहिए कितना प्यारा है अनवर दर मुस्तफा जो भी जाता है करता है ये इल्तिजा कितना प्यारा है अनवर दर मुस्तफा जो भी जाता है करता है ये इल्तिजा ए रसूल खुदा अब यहाँ से मुझे ए रसूल खुदा अब यहाँ से मुझे वापसी की इजाजत नहीं चाहिए दूर कर दे जो दीन और ईमान से ऐसी शान ऐसी अजमत नहीं चाहिए 
मिल गई है नबी की गुलामी मुझे अब जमाने की दौलत नहीं चाहिए सलमोया कौ मबल सलो अला सर अमीन मुस्तफा मा जायला रहमत लाल अमीन महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा सल्ले अला सुबह ऐसा कोई बंदा है ना हुआ ऐसल्ले अला सुबह महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा क्या रुए मुनौर आप काता ए सल्ले अला सुबह नल्ला क्या रुए मुनौर आप काता ए सल्ले अला सुबह नल्ला जिस जिसने देखा ये ही कहा जिस जिसने देखा ये ही कहा ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला ऐसा कोई बंदा है ना हुआ ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा जसलो पे नाम पाख लिखा हर हरफ पे चमका नूर खुदा जसलो पे नाम पाख लिखा हर हरफ पे चमका नूर खुदा खुश हो के कलम ने दिए सदा खुश हो के कलम ने दिए सदा ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला ऐसा कोई बंदा है ना हुआ ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा आदम ने जो खोली चश्मे यकी नजरों में समाया अरशे बरी आदम ने जो खोली चश्मे यकी नजरों में समाया अरशे बरी नाम आप का देखा उस पे लिखा नाम आप का देखा उस पे लिखा ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा ए सल्ले अला सुबह नला ऐसा कोई बंदा है ना हुआ महबे अला सुबह नला महबूब खुदा मतलूब खुदा सलमोया कौ मबल सलो अला सर अमीन मुस्तफा मा जायला रहमत लाल अमीन
the synopsis of this qasira is peace and blessings be upon Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has no parallel in creation what an illumined countenance which was greatly admired by everyone every letter of his name as is written on the tablet reflected the light the nur of Allah the pen that was used to write that name joyfully declared like everything else which came into contact with him glory be to Allah and peace be on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so important is his status that when Adam alayhi salam opened his eyes for the very first time he saw the name Muhammad written on the throne as it contained the declaration of faith glory be to Allah and peace be on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam Okay, Jazakallah, Brother Imran Khan, for singing such a beautiful uh, kasaid of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala accept this on behalf of you, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless you with more love of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, so inshallah, I'm just going to share one uh, very interesting dua. Uh, I'm not going to give you lecture to, uh, tonight because, uh, you know, I uh, just want to share this, this dua with you and uh, it took me around two, two hours actually to find the, the authenticity of this dua and alhamdulillah I was able to find it and it is, this dua is mentioned, this is a dua of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which he taught to his Sahaba. Uh, this dua is mentioned in the uh, Sahih Ibn Hibban, which this, this is the collection of the Ahadith of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam written let's say 1000 years ago and uh, Hadith number is 5528. And uh, this Sahih ibn Habban is like the collection of the hadith like Bukhari and Muslim. And it consists on uh, around eight volumes. And uh, so this dua is mentioned in the sixth volume, page number 375. I'm so happy that I found it, alhamdulillah. This is a very new, new, dua, new, new dua for me. But the blessing we are aware of, but very important dua. And I want you to memorize this dua, inshallah, and uh, it is in the comment section as well. And, uh, you know, all, every night we sleep and um, and whenever we sleep is hardly you know sometimes we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most of the time we remember but can you imagine that if you say this dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us with his blessings yes we know not only this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of our sins can you imagine you are sleeping and just before sleeping your sins are forgiven just because of this dua it has multiple duas uh, narrated when it comes to forgiveness of our sins, if we say those duas, if we recite those duas before sleeping, but this is a very, you know, unique dua, alhamdulillah. And first time I'm mentioning this, uh, you know, uh, in front of you. And uh, so this dua, narrated by Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, authentic dua, mentioned in the Sahih ibn Hibban, hadith number 5528. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa said that whoever says uh, that this dua that I'm going to re recite in front of you, that I'm going to mention in front of you, before going to the bed or before going to sleep, Allah will forgive his sins. Allah will forgive her sins even if they are like the form of the sea. Even if they are like the form of the sea. And we know these kind of the wordings, we have already heard it. So, SubhanAllah, can you imagine our sins are forgiven even if they are like the form of the sea? And if you just say this dua once and Allah will forgive all of our sins. And look how beautiful this dua is. This dua is basically is the hamd, is actually is the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that Allah says, First Quruni Askurkum, when you will remember me, I will remember you. So before sleeping, if you will remember Allah, so Allah will remember you, inshallah, by forgiving your sins and answering your all duas. So I hope you are ready for this dua now. What is this dua? Which is the which is which is going to cause the forgiveness of our sins. This dua goes like this: that La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharikala, lahul mulku, walahul hamdu. وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ وَلَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ That's it. This is a very short dua, small dua. And most of the words that are used in this dua, we are familiar. 
we are familiar with these words. So it's not difficult to memorize once you make the intention to memorize this dua. So what is the meaning of this dua? La ilaha illallah, there is no God but Allah. So before you sleeping, you are correcting your iman. You are, how they say, you are renewing your faith. This is what Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Jaddidu imanakum, that you know always renew your faith, renew your iman, you renew your deen. So Sahaba asked Ya Rasulullah how to do so, how we can renew, renew our faith, how we can refresh our faith. So Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Qul la ilaha illallah. Just say la ilaha illallah. There is no God. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So subhanallah. So this part, this, this, this la ilaha illallah is the part of this dua. So it begins with one of the best things. That is la ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. And then once again you say wahdahu la sharika la. And he is all alone by himself. And he has no any partners. There is no way that we can associate anything with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot associate any partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is none worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So once again, La ilaha illallah, we know this already. And wahdahu la sharika la, and most of us, we also know this. And then, lahul mulku, to whom belongs the do dominion of the earth and the heaven. To him belongs the heavens and the earth. To him belongs the, in this entire universe. And whatever is the part of this universe, suns, moons, stars and the ocean and the, every single thing every single thing belongs to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lahul mulku and then we say walahul hamdu and to him belongs all the praises all the thanks all the gratitude and all the you know the 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 characteristics and sifat and attributes belongs to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then we say wa ala kulli shayin qadir this is the one of the most powerful thing that you are saying in this dua you know, we always have difficulties in our life. All different kinds of difficulties. Wahua ala kulli shayin qadir. What does it mean? That subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the all powerful. He is the omnipotent. He has the authority or He has the power to do anything and everything. So you see, sometimes we have certain difficulties in our life and we don't even find the way. We don't even find the light. We don't even find the path and we just give up. We say, okay, no, nobody can help us. But Allah is saying, وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَنْ قَدِيرٌ He is the Qadir. He has the ability and He has the capacity. He has the capability to do every single thing. You know, subhanAllah, where our thoughts end, this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins. SubhanAllah. So you can't imagine... That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْسُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ That He is the one who gives us the, you know, sustenance. وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ From where we don't even expect. Probably you were, you were saying, okay, nobody is going to help me, nobody going to, is going to give me the job or the salary or whatever it is. But this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala miracles begins, brother. brother. This is where Allah's power begins, subhanAllah. He, his power has no any limits, no boundaries. He has, he is qadir mutlaq he has the power of everything. Subhanallah. So no matter how big and massive difficulty you have, believe on this phrase, wa huwa. Allah, ala kulli shayin qadir. He is all powerful over everything. He is, he has the power to change everything. He has the power to bring the, you know, goodness in my life. He has the power to bring the happiness and the joy in my life. Subhanallah. So never ever, you know, despair from the mercy of Allah subhanallah. And then, Afterwards, we say once again, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no power except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we say this, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no power and there is no strength except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does it mean? That all the power, all the strength belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the only powerful. No matter you are saying to yourself that you are powerful and this and that, but end of the day, Allah is the powerful. Allah is the powerful. Good, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And then we say, Subhanallah, you know, glory be to Allah. Eh? After mentioning this, we say, you know, we, since we, he's, He has the power, He has the strength, and then afterwards we say, Subhanallah, how powerful Allah is, Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. That's how, you know, Surah Al Isra begins, Subhanallah, bi abdihi. Glory be to Allah, the one who took His servant from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa and then to the heaven, Subhanallah. So Allah can do these things, not me and you. So we say, Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. To Him belongs all the perfection, Subhanallah. And then we say, Walhamdulillah, and praises to Allah, gratitude to Allah, thanks to Allah, and shukr to Allah, Subhanallah. 
and wala ilaha illallah there is no god but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is no ilah except him ilah mean the deity of worship the god wallahu akbar and allah is the greatest you ending this dua in a beautiful way on a beautiful note and you saying to yourself and to allah ya allah you are the only great i'm not great my boss is not great the this power of this dunya is not great only you great ya allah greatness belongs to you ya rabbal alamin ya allah you are the greatest so since you are the greatest heal me cure me remove the difficulties remove the sicknesses remove the problems from my life so you see how beautiful this is once you will say this with this mindset with this explanation with this concept then and there your sins will be forgiven you see sometimes we say the duas we say the azkar but we don't see the you know impact of those duas in our life we don't see the result of those duas because we just saying it it's just a lips movement it just our tongues are saying our uh, but mind is not there heart is not there concept is not there understanding is not there so that is why i believe that when we say the duas when we recite the duas or when we read the duas or any zikr of allah it should come from the heart with the understanding with the meaning with the concept inshallah khulasis good once again i'm going to say this dua repeat after me inshallah good la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا اله الا الله والله اكبر beautiful dua so we ask allah to accept this dua in our favor so you just have to say this once before sleeping before closing your eyes if you, even if you are in wuzu or not if you are in the wuzu very good and what is the what is the fruit what is the benefit of this dua all of your sins will be forgiven even if they are like the form of the sea is not my saying is not the saying of the scholar or any mulana nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself said abu huraira narrated this hadith it is mentioned in the kitab sahih ibn hibban sixth volume hadith number 552 at authentic hadith i am mentioning in front of you so we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it is in the comment section inshallah ul aziz read it try to read it and you know try to correct your pronunciation as well if you still need my help just text me and i will send you the recording or the voice note of this dua inshallah khul aziz so now uh, i will request haji abdul wahid majid once again to sing the qasida inshallah and if he has any announcement and then inshallah afterwards tazim and then dua inshallah khul aziz Jazakallah khair Maulana for that beautiful message and reminder of that dua inshallah hopefully we will be able to learn it learn it and be able to practice it inshallah uh, over the past few days i've been mulling over a song that i asked Maulana to give me the meaning of but before i sing that i think it is necessary for me to sing this one and this is i remember when i sing this song or dear haji sahib zija hasnai फलक के नजारो जमी की बहारो फलक के नजारो जमी की बहारो सभी दे मनाओ हुजूर आ गए है उठो गम के मारो चलो बेसहारो खबर ये सुनाओ हुजूर आ गई है अनोखा निराला वो 
रोजी शान आया अनोखा निराला वो जी शान आया वो सारे रसूलो का सुल्तान आया अरे कज कुलाओ अरे बादशाओ अरे कज कुलाओ अरे बादशाह निगाहे झुका लो हुजूर आ गए हैं 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 हुआ चार सु रहमतों का बसेरा उजाला उजाला सवेरा सवेरा हुआ चार सु रहमतों का बसेरा उजाला उजाला सवेरा सवेरा हलीमा को पहुँचे खबर आमिना की मेरे घर में आओ हुजूर आ गए हैं 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 हवाओं में जज्बा है मरहबा की फजाओ में नगमा सल्ले अला की हवाओ में जज्बात है मरखबा की फजाओ में नगमा सल्ले अला की दरुदो के गजरे सलामों के तोहफे दरुदो के गजरे सलामों के तोहफे गुलामों सजाओ हुजूर आ गए हैं 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 समा है सनाए हबी बे खुदा का समा है सनाए हबी बे खुदा का ये मीलाद है सर मरे अम्बिया का समा है सनाए हबी बे खुदा का ये मीलाद है सर वरे अम्बिया का नबी के गदाओ सबक दूसरे को नबी के गदाओ सबक दूसरे को गले से लगाओ हुजूर आ गए हैं 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 बलगल उला 
बेकमाले कशफ दुजा बेजमाले बलगल उला बेकमाल कशफ दुजा बेजमाल हसुन जमीयों के सौल सलो अलिवाल मदीने के आका सलाम का मदीने के आका सलाम का दो आलम के शाह सलाम का मदीने के आका सलाम का दो आलम के शाह सलाम का जमी में मोहम्मद जमा में मोहम्मद मकी में मोहम्मद मका में मोहम्मद जमी में मोहम्मद जमा में मोहम्मद मकी में मोहम्मद मका में मोहम्मद हर एक शे में जलवा रसूल खुदा का हर एक शे में जलवा रसूल खुदा का सलाम का सलाम का मदीने के आका सलाम का दो आलम के शाह सलाम का असला तो असलम या रसूल जुमा Alhamdulillah we are in preparation to receive you the muktadis at the San Fernando Jama Masjid there will be some posts made on the Facebook page to let you know of the protocols that we intend to um observe going forward with respect to the um, kind of messages that we received from the health ministry and other authorities as to how we should conduct our affairs for the and jumma salah but in general as you might have noticed around the masjid we have taken up the carpets and we will be um, using social distancing techniques to ensure that the muktadis will be in a space that will be comfortable for them so there would be some protocols we would require you to come with a mask we would ask you that you make wudu at home we would ask you to also walk with your own prayer mat or jamas if you don't have well we'll try to make something available for you but please be prepared to walk with something for yourself that you will have your space on the um, tile floor that you can be comfortable with the khutbah and the time would be very short we would hope to re- um, remain within the one hour frame that they have suggested we will be opening up the ladies section of the masjid so that more men can socially distance and be here and we will keep for the first week the Haji Shafiq Islamic Center available for whatever overflows we may have once we see how that works we will then in, invite the ladies to rejoin our congregation but we want to keep it down for the first week at least for this for us to see how we will be able to 
accommodate those people who come here. This is, after all, a Jama Masjid. It is in the city of San Fernando. And of course, we have people who work in the city who regularly visit our masjid. So we expect that they will return for the Juma Salah. And of course, all other Salah still remain open, but for the minimum amount of people that we have been able to accommodate so far. I guess after Friday, that number will then increase a little bit more and therefore we may be able to accommodate more people for the five salawat, inshallah. So Jazakallah Maulana for having organized today's program. I feel very proud. Proud is an understatement. <laughs> I've been lucky for the last two months to be here with Maulana, in the presence of Maulana, as we try to bring programs for the listening and viewing public. And it has indeed been an experience that I will not forget. We say Jazakallah Maulana for having guided us through this time. And we look forward to your continued messages and inspirational talks so that we can all remain within the fold and keep our heads high that we have succeeded in continuing our worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during this trying period. Jazakumullah khair. Iman, you want to render the kasir there? Tazim? So we'll have the tazim by uh, Brother Imran and then we will have a close into our body, Imam, inshallah. I'll do the little prep move, right? Eh? I'll do the little piece before. Yeah. Nidati ke sarkar tashreef alavo Shahin shahi abrar tashreef alavo Rasoolo ke sardar tashreef alavo do alam ke mukhtar tashreef alavo zami ko bi izzat se arsh e ala ki dekha jao bando ko surat khuda ki kharet e malak wohi taklid ab ho ke khush jis se ruh e rasool e arab ho نکل جائے محفل سے جو بے عدب ہو اتوتا کی تعظیم محبوب عرب ہو فجاء محمد بشیرا نذیرا فسلو علیہ کثیرا کثیرا یا نبی سلام علیکہ یا رسول سلام علیکہ یا حبیب سلام علیکہ سلوات اللہ علیکہ سلوات اللہ علیکہ اشرک البدر علینا واختفات منہ البدور مثل حسن اکمار آئینا قد تو یا وجہ سرور قد تو یا وجہ سرور یا نبی سلام علیکہ یا رسول سلام علیکہ یا حبیب سلام علیکہ سلوات اللہ علیکہ سلوات اللہ علیکہ یا حبیب یا محمد یا عروس الخافقین 
يا مؤيد يا مماجد يا إمام الكبلتين يا إمام الكبلتين يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك سلوات لا عليك سلوات لا عليك من يرى وجهك يسعد يا كريم الوالدين هودك سف المبارد وردنا يوم النشور وردنا يوم النشور يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك سلوات لا عليك سلوات لا عليك ما رأينا الإسهنت بسراء لا إليك والغمام لك أزلت والملا سلو عليك والملا سلو عليك يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك سلوات لا عليك سلوات لا عليك رب سلم على رسول الله رب سلم على رسول الله مرحبا مرحبا رسول الله مرحبا مرحبا رسول الله بھیجو اے رب میرے درود او سلام بھیجو اے رب میرے درود او سلام برگزید یا نبی پر اپنے مدم برگزید یا نبی پر اپنے مدم کلمہ لا الہ الا اللہ کلمہ لا الہ الا اللہ اے محمد میرا رسول اللہ اے محمد میرا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم جزاک اللہ برادر عمران خان جزاک اللہ پریزیڈنٹ عبد الوحید مجید فور بوتھ آف یور بیوٹیفل رینڈیشنز سو انشاءاللہ العزیز ویڈیو کو کلوز دا دس پروگرام ویڈا کلوزنگ دعا And Jazakallah for your feedback, Jazakallah for your duas. And inshallah, Aziz, don't forget to recite Surah Al-Mulk after the Salatul Aisha, inshallah, Aziz. Let, let us make the dua. Amin, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa la qibatu lil muttaqeen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala seed al-anbiya'i wal musaleen. Allahumma anta as-salam wa minka as-salam. Tabarak ta rabbana wa ta'ala itiyad al-jalali wa al-ikram. Ya Rabbil alameen, accept this, this gathering, Ya Rabbil alameen. Accept this, this, our, our humble service, Ya Rabbil alameen. Ya Allah, we try to remember you and we try to send salutations on your Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah, make this, this, Ya Allah, these seconds and these minutes that we spend in your remembrance, Ya Allah, make this, Ya Rabbul Alameen, a reason of our entering into the paradise, Ya Rabbul Samawati wal Ard. Ya Allah, keep guiding us throughout our life, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, forgive us and have mercy upon all of us. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khairi khalqihi wa nuri arshihi wa zinati farshihi muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'een. برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته